to take flight with audio airstrike. Topic. And this topic is very, very controversial. And it is very, very um, sensitive to a lot of people. Um, we don't shy away from sensitive topics on this show. Alabama has put in an abortion ban. And I will read the details of that abortion ban right now as we speak. This is very, very, this has been talked about this whole entire week. So under the new law, doctors in the same state, uh, excuse me, pardon me, um, under the new law, doctors in the state face a felony jail time up to 99 years if convicted, but a woman will not be held criminally liable for having an abortion. The law doesn't take effect for several months. The Alabama Senate passed the bill Tuesday evening. The state house had already overwhelmingly approved the legislation. It's a part of broader anti-abortion strategy to prompt the U S Supreme court to reconsider the right to abortion. There are no exception cases for rape or incest. That was the sickening point when Alabama Senate first tried to debate the measure last Thursday. Now we'll say this me personally, I'm a level with y'all. Um, I really don't favor either party. I don't favor re- Republican or Democrat. Uh, I did vote um, Democrat at times in the past. However, I really don't agree with, you know, me being older and me reading into more information. I really don't agree with either party. I feel like the people that suffer are really um, the citizens. You know what I mean? I, I really do. No matter who's in office, no matter who does what, no matter what party they're from, I feel like we um you know we suffer what is going on whether good or bad you know and you're forced to pick the lesser of two evils and pick for your own benefit and you know what causes the division and strife is some people are not going to understand that um so that's just my political views on you know my generic quick hot take on my views on politics however when it comes to abortion i am not in favor of abortion i do believe that every child deserves a chance to live that is just my standpoint on abortion now i am not in favor of this bill i am not in favor of forcing somebody to um you know do something or, you know, or, you know, what's a way I could put this better? Because I have to be sensitive because I have both men and women that listen to this show. Um, I am all for I would no way in shape or form disrespect somebody and try to dictate how they live their life, try to dictate how they should, you know, go about their way of living. However, I am a fan of, I am passionate about making sure that every human being has a right to happiness, has a right to live and carry out their dream. And I feel like with abortions, I feel like if it's not done, um, there's, there's other options. Adoption. I would rather, if there was a situation where you're not, you don't feel comfortable raising a kid or you're scared, adoption is always an option. Um, but when it comes to abortion this and this abortion ban, this abortion ban is a little bit too far. Um, all you're going to do is going to force people to do reckless decisions. Um, it's like, you know, it's like going to a Christian school and telling them and being very strict, saying you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. And here's why uh, this is wrong. And you start demonizing it instead of telling them, look, this is what the process is. These are the effects of that process. This is your choice if you want to do this, but you have to be comfortable with this very life changing decision. That's how the approach should be when you have a government coming in and dictating or a state coming in and dictating something, a harsh ban on something. It's only going to make people do it even more. Um, So 
it's one of those situations where we have to be sensitive to everybody's predicament. I would recommend me personally. I am not a fan of abortion. I feel like every life should have a chance to carry out their dream. Um, My thing is, I just don't agree that somebody or a group of people should be telling women what to do with their bodies. They should The approach should be different. The approach should be more consoling. The approach should not be abrasive. The approach should be, I know you want to have, for those women who do want to carry on with an abortion, it should be, look, this is the process that we do, but however, these are the pros and cons to, if you do this, you may have lost remorse or something of that nature. That's just, you know, that needs to be the language that we need to have and that's the language that we need to carry out um it's it's rough you know it's it's a sensitive topic because as a man um there's been something on my mind that has been um troubling to me and uh, i would like to you know get other people's opinion on it for those of you who want to comment below and have a respectful conversation on it um we can do that but these are my thoughts Um, I think it's very disheartening and wrong to tell a man, um, you don't have the right to, to, to talk to me. You don't have the right to talk about, uh, abortion. You don't have the right. You don't have a say in, in, in the abortion process. You're not the one carrying this thing for nine months. Um, this is something, these are the comments that I saw on Facebook and other streams of social media. Um, and it's very disheartening to me, um, cause whether anybody likes it or not, it takes two people to make a baby, a man and a woman. And I know there's other methods, but the natural way is a man or a woman. Um, the problem that I have with that is, is that there are men out here who have suffered loss of their child due to women making a choice and not including the man in that choice. And they went through an abortion and did not tell the man, you know, not every guy wants to step out here and just step out on a marriage or step out on, uh, raising a kid, you know, not every man is like that. So we need to be more, um, we need to be better listeners that just because a man is saying something on abortion, that does not mean that he is trying to dictate a woman's life. That does not necessarily always mean that he is trying to, you know, demonize a woman and try to put her in her places. As some people would say, like, who are you to tell me how to, uh, what to do with my body? Uh, We need to be very open because at the end of the day, it takes two people to raise. It takes two people to make a baby. And that is a man and a woman. You know, you need male sperm and a, you know, you know, and a a woman's egg. I mean, there's no way around it. You know what I'm saying? So um, we can sit there and, you know, have the talk about what a man is supposed to say or not say about abortion. But the reality of it is that like, that's his seed too. You can't around for nine months, but let's be honest through sex and stuff like that. Like that's still a part of him. Like it's going, truth be told, I have, you know, watched uh, certain programs where men are just having the same, uh, you know, bad effect, um, you know, with loss uh, after abortion as women have. And some of those programs, it's disheartening. And then to get online and then to turn around and see, um, you know, people just in rage and anger and not thinking straight say, well, you know, who are you to tell me you don't create uh, babies or anything like that? I'm the one carrying this thing around for nine months. Who are you to tell me that? Like, it's it's disheartening because there are men out there that would step up, take care of their children and 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 really um that really have a heart for seeing um you know a baby's first steps or being there as a father and for that opportunity to be stripped away from them without no conversation which that situation has happened and as we speak it is continuing to happen that needs to be addressed 
Um, like I said before, I think uh, going back to this abortion um, ban, I think it's a bit excessive. I think that there needs to be an open conversation that we need to have more conversations on the process. Something that's a lot less abrasive, something that's a lot less demonizing, something that's a lot less um, an, a lot less savage than just saying, oh, well, we're locking doctors up if they ever practice uh, this. Um, so, you know, is there a bigger scheme going on? You know, is there a bigger scheme going on with, you know, and I've, I've heard crazy, crazy type of deals about, oh, were they trying to, you know, do population control? That's the reason why they're trying to enforce this abortion law, you know, or, you know, I've heard something even as crazy as, um, and, you know, this, how, you know, I'll do more research on it, but I've heard even something as crazy as the reason why um, they're trying to force um, this abortion ban is because they realize um, that, you know, amongst races that the, in, you know, 2042 or 2032, that majority of this country will be made up of brown people, making um, people, those of European descent, a minority. Um you know, I want to do my own research before I co-sign any accusations of that nature. I think it's I think when I hear stuff like that and I recommend you guys do that, too. When you hear crazy stuff like that or I'm, if, if it sounds crazy, I would go research it. So that way, you know, it's concrete. You know what I'm saying? So that way you're getting. um you can see it with your own eyes instead of leaning on to a personality's perspective. And it's not a diss to anybody, but I'm just, when I hear certain things now, I would rather research it myself than just sit over here and regurgitate something that I don't even know is true. And um, that is something that we all need to grow in. And when it comes to this abortion ban, we need to have a, this one, this is one of those topics. We need to have a conversation and dialogue on what is going on. How does this affect both sides and what are some positive solutions that we can do? Um, but, you know, in terms of my abortion beliefs, I feel like every life should have a chance to live their dream. And that's just my standpoint on that. So, yeah, um, just praying for everybody who's involved. Uh, for those of you who have um, who have dealt with abortions and those of you who have uh, know somebody who's dealt with uh, an abortion or feeling passionate about this issue, uh, keep them in your prayer. Uh be open to them, be open to uh, giving them advice. This is not an easy topic to discuss. Um, you know, show them, show them that compassion, show them that, um, show them that love, you know, try to, you know, be open minded and try to get an understanding as to where to come from. And if anything else, if for those of you who feel the way I feel about abortion, I would recommend adoption. Honestly, um, I would strongly recommend adoption. Adoption would be adoption would always be uh, a better choice than abortion to me. Um, that's just my standpoint. I'm not trying to demonize anybody. I'm not trying to talk down to nobody. Um, men, women, child. I'm not trying to talk down to nobody. I just feel like every child should have that right to live their dream and get a chance at life. You know, we only get one go around. I'm, I'm thankful to be alive and do this podcast for 88 episodes now. You know what I'm saying? But if my life got cut short, would I be even, you know, doing the short films that I'm doing now? Would I even be doing the podcast I'm doing now? We got to think in that regard. I know everybody's situation is different. I know certain things happen. I know that there is rape cases. There's incest cases and stuff like that nature. But we do have to um, be very mindful that this is, you know, what's being sacrificed here. And this is just my opinion. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to employ my opinion on everybody. Y'all can think what y'all want to think. But from my perspective, a innocent life is at risk. That's just me.